Uh, Rosita Cube was stolen and it was buried somewhere on Earth and the people from Perplex City have contacted the players and they're asking for help to try and find this cube. You collect the cards and the cards have on the one side they've got a puzzle and sometimes those relate to the story and sometimes they're just fun puzzles that you can crack but on the back side is a piece of a map and that piece of a map they come together to be sort of the, I believe, to be like one of the ultimate clues in uh, in the storyline. It's puzzles and it's stories and it, it, it's following a story online. That's, that's pretty much the essence of the game. And it's a real reward. It's not, yeah. uh, it's not fake. <laughs> and it's an actual cube that's buried somewhere. This isn't just like a novel that's just been ripped into pieces and scattered around the whole internet. As the story goes along, you start to learn more and more about the context of, of this cube that they're looking for. And everything's centered around the cube in this story. Uh, whoever's going to find it is going to get the big reward at the end. Who else did you talk to? I told this was a, uh, an audio file that they had recorded in in a boardroom somewhere. And at the end of the tape, he murders her. It's such a a disturbing scene, you know, that it really it it brings out this like voyeur kind of quality to that moment. And his helicopter touched down right in the middle of like a parking lot and picked up this guy who went like, you know, haha -ha, suckers and like took off in the in the helicopter. Through all of that, I mean, you become a part of the story. It's not like you're just standing on the outside. There is a tendency with this to, to like think of it as an obsession, you know, because it really is an alternate reality. And, uh, and for a lot of these games, there's such deep realities that people tend to like get so far into them that they, you know, lose touch with their own sense of reality.